Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today Star Launch just released staking and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna walk you through how to do it all on the cadet dashboard, buy your star, get it all set up. If we go to their Twitter, we see that the announcement is right here. They also have this Medium article, Hydrazine Staking Guide, which I'm going to attach in the description below, per usual. And we have 1.5 million already staked. So, big demand. Let's dive into this. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Star Launch webpage. We're going to pick an exchange, Symmetry, FTX, Radium. We're just going to click right here on Radium just to make it super simple. Make sure you have your Phantom wallet installed. This is the wallet I use. Really like this wallet. The way you get it is you go over to this Chrome web browser store and you just simply add it. Now, it doesn't say that for me because it's already added for me. So I'm not going to do that, but very easy to set up just like your basic Web3 wallet. Okay, let's go back. There's probably quite a few ways to exchange stars. I haven't looked into it, but honestly, just do what they recommend right here, USDC. Make sure you have that in your Phantom wallet, and then you just simply swap. So I've already swapped it. I'm not gonna do the swap, but you know, it works just like any other swap, Pancake, Uniswap, take your pick. And yeah, so I already have my stars all set up, ready to go. Let's go back to the site and click on this cadet dashboard. Now, if you watched my last video, we kind of looked into this a little bit and it wasn't set up, but now it is fully set up and ready to stake. So I have my stars right here. I'm gonna simply click this second tab right over here. We can see that again, we have the total star staked, which I, that looks like, okay, that looks like a little bit of a higher number this time. I guess it went to 3 million. And we're gonna create our account. So all you do to create your account is you just click that, this will pop up on your wallet. You press approve. Okay, now this is where it gets complex. So you see this right here, we create a vault box. So essentially on this platform, you can create as many vault boxes as you can. Now each vault box is different. If we hop back to the Medium article, we'll just kind of look into this and explain it a little bit. So essentially after you're done creating your account, you create a vault box. Your first vault box will have an ID of 0000. Enter the number of stars you wish to stake. Now there's two options here. You can stake without lock, which means that your stars will generate hydrazine. You can take them out at any time, but they're subject to a rate of decay of 0.0767%. So your stars will essentially decay as they stay in there. And again, you can unlock them at any time, but that's the caveat. Or you can stake with lock. And the stars that are staked with lock will not decay, but they'll be locked in the contract for about 90 days. Again, all of this is to stabilize the platform. They don't want you to unstake. They want you to stake so that their token price can remain stable, essentially. That's the reasoning behind that. And so they just bring you through a couple examples here if we kind of go through it very quickly. And keep in mind, I'm also going to walk through this myself as we kind of progress through it. But let's just go down. So yeah, so as you can see, these are two different vault boxes. One's unlocked, one's locked. There's two examples there what those each look like. Um, and if we kind of go down here, they have something else, right? So if you can actually, for a locked box, you can force unlock it if you want. But if you do that, now your stars are subject for a to a fee of about 50% of the prorated decay in the stars for the remaining days of the lock period. So essentially that will make your stars begin to decay. So that's kind of, why you want to pick and choose which strategy you want to go with here. Do you want your stars to decay or do you want to lock them up? Are you fine with being locked up for about 90 days? All right, so let's just walk through it. Let's let's do a little brief tutorial about how you do this. Okay, yeah, so I'm here in my lockbox. I got the box ID 0000. Let's just put in one because I know I have one star. I think you do too. I just showed my wallet. So let's... uh. I'm going to do the stake for 90 days because I'm fine with staking for 90 days and I actually don't want this decay. That looks a little scary to me. So your stars will be in the box. It delivers this message. It'll do the same thing right here. Your stars will decay. So let's just do this. Okay, approve. So I'm not sure if you saw it, but a red notification popped up right there giving me an error. That's because I didn't have enough gas in my wallet or enough money for gas. So what I did is I just loaded up a little bit more. And now we're gonna try this one more time. So we're gonna stake one, we're gonna press confirm, we're gonna approve, this is what I get. So we're just gonna approve this transaction, see what happens. All right, and as you can see, I have my vault box right there and 
I have my N2H, which is not collecting anything, but I have one star staked. I can enter it. It's what it looks like. And at, because it's a locked box, locked till February 24th, you see right here I have the ability to force on stake and claim. I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do, because this isn't going fast enough, is we're going to do a little experiment here. And I'm going to create another vault box. And I'm going to... I'm going to unlock it just to show you what that looks like. <laughs> so let's do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my wallet and I'm going to go to this exchange. This is what I love about Phantom is that I can actually exchange in the wallet. So I have my soul right here. Uh, I think I'm supposed to have more than that. Oh, maybe I'm not. Okay, I have my soul and we need USDC, right? So all we're going to do is we're just going to do that. And we're just going to exchange, uh, let's say, I, I want to, I don't want to run into the same problem as last time, but maybe we'll exchange what, like that looks like a good number. Yeah. So we'll review order, we'll agree, we'll swap. Now I have my USD. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the exchange. We're just going to, uh, yeah, we're going to get some more star. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to prove it right there. Wait for that confirmation to go through. It has gone through. And I love Solana because it's so fast. This is just one of the many reasons why I like it. Let's go back to our Star Launch Cadet. All right, so let's just head home really quickly. I just want to say, yes, yeah, so now I have two stars. I still have no hydrazine. Um, probably, I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because it's a small amount. Uh, maybe it's because it takes time. We'll see. Check back on it later. But let's create a new vault box. So now I have a new ID for a new vault box. And we're going to do this option this time. And we're going to press, uh, we're going to do one, just like last time. And we're going to press confirm. And we are going to approve. And yeah. So now I should, if I refresh, hopefully, have two lock, two vault boxes, each staking each ready to go. And we're going to check back on this to see if this number increases. I'm pretty sure it should because I've, I've done this a little bit already. But yeah, so that's how you do it. That's how you stake your star. And remember, locked, unlocked. Also up here, total stars penalized. You can see that, you know, if I were to unlock this box early and just force on stake, it would probably appear up there and total stars decayed. So for this box, I'm expecting this number to also increase. All right, that's it. See ya.